Yeah, like nothing. Just goes over bumps and curves. It's got a nice turning ratio. Yep. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. What's happening, Electric Family? Welcome back to the channel. This is Julian, and on today's vlog, we are here at Shaburn Park, and we are going to be testing this second-hand bike that we just bought, a mountain bike. We are trying to be, well, we are an amateur. We are a newbie at mountain biking, but I definitely wanted a bike that had Fox suspensions dual suspensions this is the one that we are going to be investing and putting a motor and a battery in hopefully sometime soon so stay tuned for that in Shabaram regional park it's one of our favorite places to to bike at especially if you're an entry level mountain biker it has a little bit of a uh, dirt trails up in the top and a good downhill that we will be trying to test this bike on today. It's local to me and I think it's the perfect place to get this guy out on the road. So let's get to it. And it's just super nice with the suspensions. Super nice with dual suspensions. Excuse me. Yeah, like these bumps, those bumps are like nothing. This is the first expensive mountain bike I've had. I'll go in details in how much later on I'm gonna be investing on my build total. But I've been looking for quite some time for a frame that works best for what I need. It's so hard to find a frame that has a, these water bottle connections down here that way I can fit a battery right here at least that's the plan and there's still enough clearance for the suspensions to to rebound we're gonna be putting a motor a mid-drive motor 80% sure likely we're putting a mid-drive motor on this and um, we're just waiting on parts but this is the first time that I'm actually testing this bike out so it is so nice to like bike a lightweight pedal i mean it is so nice to bike a lightweight bike i can see why people pay lots of money for expensive mountain bikes but yeah again i'm just an entry level mountain biker i am new to the whole sport i can't believe it's so expensive I still, I'm still in denial on how expensive mountain bikes are, especially when you can get a, a Saron for about 4,000. Okay, so we're elevating gradually here, and um, I think I already have my shifting in the right comfortable position that I'd like. And I'm actually not familiar with with two shifters. So again, I'm a newbie at mountain biking, but that's cool. Eventually I'm gonna have to get rid of these shifters. I won't need shifting on the uh, chain ring. Not when I put a mid drive on it. Hopefully those parts come in in less than two to three weeks. And hopefully by then I, this could be converted into an e-bike. I definitely would like an e-bike that's uh, very versatile on off-roading. That's why the Suron was one of my list. But with the Suron, I just want to get, I don't want to get all the looks of uh, I don't belong in certain trails and whatnot. Or even on the streets. Normalcy is returning and I'm pretty sure they're gonna start cracking down on those kind of electric motorbikes. And plus I'm a I'm a scaredy cat. I'm a baby. 
I don't want to go fast. I just want a bike that can do jumps and off-roading entry level mountain bike stuff. And I want to exercise. Oh my gosh, I've been working 40 hours a week and my job is just staring at a computer now, working at home. And I can't complain, I'm not complaining. I love this, my job, but um, I'm the type that if my, mo if my body doesn't get any kind of exercising, I don't sleep easy. I would toss and turn till like 3 to 5 a.m. So I need a, I need an outlet to exercise. So pick this Sunday to do that. And let's see what kind of adventures we can do today. Okay, well, we've been elevating. We're about 75% already uphill. I really like this bridge in this tall trees area. And we're just going at a leisurely pace. We'll try to do this loop twice if I have enough energy for it. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, actually. We're gonna be taking this bike off-roading shortly. And that's where the true test comes in, comes to play. Definitely miss the, miss the motor aspect. Comment below why, why some bikes rear tires are thinner than the front tires. Again, I'm new at mountain biking. I know obviously there's a reason for it, but what's the pros and cons in having thicker tires in the front and thinner tires in the rear? Let me know, comment below, thank you. Let's get this bike some test runs. Oh, it's, it would be great to be behind that guy. But this is why I love bikes. And there's a mountain biker. It'd be nice to kind of uh, piggyback on, uh, on his trail here. So yeah, this is what I definitely love. Watery smooth suspensions. I uh, I had mountain bike helmet coming in. Hello, it was supposed to come in today, but I I was losing daylight, so I just had to I just had to get out. Hello, excuse me, thank you. So it looks kind of strange that I'm using a DOT helmet, but it's cold enough. To your left. Thank you. It's cold enough that my head is actually getting some airflow, but this is what I love. These up and down, hello. Up and down roller coaster kind of uh, trails. And this bike, so far is just rolling. Just rolling here. Hello. Yeah, this is, I'd love to be here on a weekday. Um, this track is fun for newbies like me. And this bike, man. Hello. Yeah, I love it already. Should I even put a motor on it still? I mean, Little by little, I can kind of see why people are paying so much for expensive, lightweight mountain bikes. Okay, we kind of caught up with the mountain biker, kind of. This is the topmost part of this trail, and you oversee Roland Heights, uh, Azusa in the distance. But this is where people take pictures and stop for a little bit. Enjoy the scene. Oh man, it's nice.
How you doing, man? You go here often? Huh? You go here often? Ah, uh, we go down now. It's good. You go to this side? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I've been here, yeah. But. It's beautiful. Yeah. The fun downhill over there, right? Yeah. Alright, see ya. Thank you. You too. Alright. So, yeah, I've been here using my Hyper mountain bike, and it does fine. The thing with the Hyper bike, the Hyper E-Ride mountain bike that Walmart um, sells, the one I also have for like $600, um, you know, sometimes it'll feel like it'll bottom out, and it's not the best of components, but for beginner mountain biking, it can pass on this trail. This isn't too bad. The fun downhill is coming shortly, and that's what we want to document. Starting, well, we're gradually declining now, but yeah, this is rocky right here, and this mic is just made for it. Okay, I gotta learn the turns more. I gotta know which to brake. I think it's just the rear brakes when I'm turning. I should get more confidence in that. And definitely if you're new, obviously try everything slow at first and little by little build your confidence. Uh, this is again the most expensive mountain bike that I've invested in so far. Hello. All right, we're gonna wait for some folks because there is a fun little loop there and we don't wanna just plow through the oncoming hikers. Yeah, I think I can do this loop maybe twice. We'll see, the hardest part downhill again, is coming up and we'll try to uh, trek that hill as safe as possible. So let's wait a moment here. And Chabram has plenty of different trails too. This is just one of them. Here we go. Hello, hello. So this is the fun way right here. This little bit of up and a little bit of down. Yeah, it's fun. Ah, there's a lot of folks. Okay, we'll just... I wish I had a speedometer here. Excuse me. Yeah, these brakes are powerful, so I'm trying not to slam on it so hard that I fall forward and do a stoppy. But we're picking up some speed, going downhill here, going back to where we started. Testing the brakes. I don't hear the squeaks. And I think I'm gonna get different grips because these are, oh shoot, all right, focus. Hey, yo. Yeah, this thing just, this thing just flew down there. That was awesome. I feel like the, uh, yeah, this thing just goes, goes through these bumps. So that's good. Downhill test number one, one and done. I think I think she passed. I'm gonna try to name this bike. Um, I don't know. Thinking Star Fox, Star Fox or Storm, Storm the Marvel character. Kind of copying Vay's bike, Vay's bike's name, but. It's a white bike. It's a very foxy component, so maybe Star Fox is on maybe on the list. Um, suspensions are kind of leaking, I think. I gotta look that up, but it looks like the suspension's a little bit leaking. It took me months looking online for a frame like this, and especially that's my size, because I'm only 5'7", and this is a medium. 
size and that's the tallest that I I would go on a mountain bike if I can get a small one I'll look for a small one maybe for crystal but we're short people so it's extra hard finding the the right frame and the right price for the build that I plan to do all right let's go back up again because that took only like 35 minutes of my time and let's get more cardio shall we let's do it all right this is the tedious part is when you're climbing obviously the downhill is just balancing going uphill climbing the elevations this is where you work out your legs and shift gears when necessary just a little quick break I'm not sure I mentioned what type of bike it was so let's just go ahead and mention that get that out of the way this is a GT Force 2013 dual suspension mountain bike it says here 2.0 he upgraded apparently the suspensions to a fox floater also that's why we paid a little more than more than normal overall i think i got a fair deal he didn't charge me an arm and a leg for other mountain bikes with similar components are like over three thousand dollars used I'm not gonna spend that much. Tour you guys a little bit. They do have a barn and horse uh, trails uh, functioning on this side of the park. So let's see if we can kind of record that really quick. One thing about bikes is like, from what I notice versus playing sports, when you're playing sports, you kind of know when you're tired, right? Like at all times, you know how you can push your body. But with mountain biking, it's like as soon as you stop, it feels like your energy bar just gets drained immediately, not gradually. So it's like, I'm more tired than I feel in a sense and it's just a different different sport for me i'm still new at it definitely there's a learning curve it feels like i'm going upstairs but i'm not getting tired because because there's no impact but then you notice you're you are tired when you uh when you kind of stop and breathe a little bit let's go this way we're just kind of trekking seeing what's new around these parts i don't see the horses so they might be out on the horse ride oh there's some in here That's kind of cool. There they are. All right, that way is to like powder. That leads to uh, the other side of the mountain. And we're not ready for that. It's steep. I've done it before. It's the Shagram Skyline Trail. We're just gonna head back, make a loop. And uh, maybe for, maybe when we have a motor, We'll try to attack that hill. Yeah, I don't really have to stand up on bumps with, with this kind of bike. So that's amazing. Although it's already kind of natural instinct. Right, here we go. Picking up a little bit of speed. Oh, I should have shifted gears there, but forgive me, I am new, and 
taking things slow here. I don't quite remember the trails by heart yet. I've been here maybe three times. Oh yeah, sometimes it's really nice to be away from people. Especially everyone's starting to show signs of normalcy. Everyone's starting to get out again. I wonder how it's gonna affect the e-bike e-bike group rides we won't have as much freedom as we normally would anymore hopefully that's not the case i am tired Whew. here's an uphill coming up ahead i was trying to connect to the original trail but it's okay good adventures here it would be nice going down this hill i think so we'll stop there and we'll go head back make a u-turn yeah yeah buddy this bike turns nicely if, if i did that in super sympathy i would have slipped connects to the original trail that we did got some good cardio there I feel my legs burning to your right thank you and to our left to your left thank you yeah, this bike can jump. I can just handle these trails. Nice. Definitely gaining confidence. Although, I am out of shape. To your left. Dogs up ahead. To your left. Hope you heard me. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all this time I'm trying to assess if this bike is worth converting into an electric bike. Would I want to pour in money on this project? And I think this bike is saying yes. I just definitely need to change my grips or get a little bit of a riser because, I don't know, I'm not comfortable. I feel like this is too an aggressive of a stand and hurts my wrist. I need a common villa if you're a mountain biker. What handlebar grips works best because this one's stiff and my wrist is like feeling pain around here. Hello. Okay. Here we go. Round two. And probably final, final round because uh, I want to eat. I'm hungry. Hello, hello. Ooh. Come on. Just a little bit more and I can rest. an accomplishment here we go even my back is sweating 
Yeah, definitely. You don't notice you're tired with the mountain bike. Well, so I don't know, maybe that's a good exercise, a good way, I'm not really sure. Sometimes it's like you don't know you're tired until until you really feel lightheaded and you're passing out. Hello. So definitely have extra reserves in terms of energy usage on a mountain bike. At least, at least that's my uh, experience. Because I always like to push my body to the limits and I don't recommend that on the mountain bike because yeah, I almost felt like I was going to pass out before on a different trail on the Hyper Mountain Bike. Not a good experience, but it's a learning curve. All right. Hopefully not too much traffic on the way down. We can kind of release the brakes a little bit. Ah, never mind. It's always at the fun parts that there's people. That little, little loophole there. Oh yeah. This loophole, I love this loophole. Yes sir. Trick points. All right. Of oh, kids, doggies, kids, all the above. Here we go. Hello. To your right. Ah, I can't let it fly. I cannot let it fly. You're right. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. And last portion. Ah, oh, there's a senior. Here we go. Let it loose. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna need better grips. This grip is not doing it. My wrist is sore. My wrists are sore from that mini trail. All right, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know, comment below if you think this bike is worth converting into an e-bike. And um, like and subscribe. Check out my meetup link in the description below. And I have all the gears there as well. And thank you for your support again. And see you in the next video. This is Julian signing out. See you guys next time.